of Tyro Care. Born in a small village near Coimbatore, South India, to a landless farmer, today he owns and operates a brand worth over rupees 2,000 crores. An infecting motivator, he has succeeded in converting educated as employable, graduates as professionals, individuals as entrepreneurs, vendors as partners, family members as wealth creators, and of course, by his unique way of transforming intimidating problems into opportunities for prosperity. Put your hands together and let's welcome on stage Dr. Velumani. I take a privilege to start my talk with something which you rarely hear. Myra Pudingi, Malayala Katti, Malaya Ilutha, Vanda Malay, Anda Myra. This is business. This is entrepreneur's way of approaching. In North India, I have given many lectures. I could not use this uh, proverb. In Tamil only it can be used, so I have started with that. That's the village where I was born. And uh, that's the only MBA I have got, Coimbatore. <laughs> Villages are true universities. Otherwise, you will go and find out uh, how uh, General Motors failed, succeeded, uh, this is the theory which you learn from Harvard or uh, Boston universities. What you can truly learn from a village is an amazing experience. 100% problem solving and practicals. Because in village you don't have any resource. Resource management you start doing right from the age of 3 to 5. I am very happy I was born in a village. I am a son of a landless farmer. Please don't think that it is me and my children, <laughs> nor it was me and my parents. Why I show that is, the poor only sleep peacefully. In this hotel, I couldn't sleep well. My parents were not for education. They were waiting for me to fail in a class so that they can get some additional family income, that is by serving in some other's lands. Yesterday, the story of Tamil Nadu had MGR, a midday meal uh, serving, and I think without that midday meal, I would have never gone to school. Oru kaila slate, innoru kaila plate. That's how I was lucky to get an education. There was no parent-teacher association. My parents have never come to my school. Mind you, all my signatures of my parents, always I have an early pudding. <laughs> this is the photograph of that village recently taken, because those days there was no color photography. And you must read there, to come up in life, first one should sit down. I am very proud I studied in such a school. At 19, I finished my degree, and for four years, I was unemployed and underemployed. Mind you, 50 interviews I have failed. I was not worth as an employee, as a clerk in a textile mill also. All of them ask the same question, do you have an experience? I don't know which college gives experience. Somebody has to employ to get someone to have an experience. Anneke, ambadara interview fail aye, veli a frustrated aye, road la nadak bodha, and the file apdiya mail avi se, Tamil hero salla dream pandra madre, nanu dream pandna, if I have a company, that will not have any experienced men coming inside. It will only for the freshers. Today I have got 600 employees. For all of them, I am the first employer. It happens. My salary is in Indian rupees per month. 150, 175 for four years in a small company. 
Mind you, I wanted to marry only after it becomes 1,000. I might have remained unmarried even till today. <laughs> Fortunately, that company was closed down. <laughs> this was an institute where I studied for 14 years. Mind you, I was employed, but I studied. Companies will only employ. The employee can study there. Whenever you get money in your pocket, that can be of three categories. One is salary, another is stipend, third one is pension. Salary is 90% working, 10% learning. Stipend is 90% learning, 10% working. And pension is no working, no learning. And I, in that 14 years, I did an MSc, I did a PhD. Mind you, I went to Bombay with only a BSc and tons of stamina. What is essential in su succeeding in life is stamina. 14 years stipend, acted poor, you have two options, either you can act rich or you can act poor. Acting poor gives you a lot of security. Acting rich makes you to close down e even a big airlines. Have you understood that? <laughs> Lived frugal. I want all entrepreneurs, please learn how to live frugal. You don't need funding. Only when you want to drive a BMW in the first year of a, a business, you need to put a bowl to someone, take my 10%, 20%, give me some money. I never, I have never borrowed in my life as an individual or as a company. We don't have a banker. Today we have a banker with whom our 100 crores is lying down. So this is one way of uh, succeeding is uh, live frugal. I consume only 10% even in government salary. That's how the business could be comfortably done. Either you can discuss or decide, you can't do both. Many businessmen unnecessarily discuss. I left home, there are, these are the four things which I have decided without discussing. I left home in 1982 without telling my father. Of course, I showed him the ticket. <laughs> and he couldn't, uh, he asked only one question, can't you cancel it? I told him, you will lose all money, so I will go there and come back. In 1986, I got married without telling my, asking my mother. Without asking my mother, I decided to marry the girl. All of you must be wondering, this must be a love marriage. No, my father-in-law loved me. <laughs> he persuaded me. When I went and saw the girl, I didn't like. I, typically, you tell, I will you know, come back to you, uh, discuss later. I kept quiet. My father-in-law walked because he has to see his daughter in a better place. So three times he walked, then finally I told him, can you give me one hour of your daughter to discuss? Bit reluctant, but he agreed. I'm talking about 1986. Today you don't need to take father-in-law's permission. <laughs> she was working in State Bank of India. I went there. The, me the meeting was for one hour. 55 minutes I talked. Five minutes absolute silence. That was the decision making. You can't have somebody listening to you and remaining silent. In that 55 minutes, I told her all what I don't have. I told, still, if you, love, if you like to marry me, send your father tonight to my house. And my father-in-law came the same evening to my house. And then I didn't, you must be wondering why I didn't tell my mother. In villages, graduates get fair-looking girls. That is the incentive why people go for college. <laughs> now, I got an MSc, I became a PhD, and then my mother wouldn't agree with that girl's color. So better not unnecessarily open a topic. Don't discuss. Decide. Many of you are unmarried. Please don't follow this. In 1995, after 15 years of government service, three-year-old daughter, five-year-old son, 
one fine evening, four o'clock, I had an argument with my superior and I took a decision. It took 20 seconds and I resigned and I didn't tell my wife. Night came home, couldn't sleep. So early morning, three o'clock, she asked me, are you not sleeping? And I didn't want to tell a lie. I told I have resigned. She was horizontal. She became vertical. <laughs> and she knows I don't joke. So for 20 seconds, she was silent. Then she asked me a question, what if I also don't go to office tomorrow? Literally, it was a dumki in Hindi. It was a threat for me, if better go to the job, otherwise I will also not go. Then I become vertical. <laughs> Another 20 seconds and I told, let us both not go to office from tonight. She never went to bank once, once, once again, I never went to office once again. Mind you, you have to take decision. There is nothing known as a good decision. There are only decisions. There are nothing known as a good spouse. There is only a spouse. There is nothing known as a good job. There is a job. Make it good after taking a decision. <laughs> Entire world was charging 400, 500 rupees for thyroid testing. I started charging only 100 rupees. This decision was another decision which I took. Don't copy the neighbor. You take your own decisions. There is no company on this earth which has been closed down because it has priced the product at a lower side. Every company, failed company, could not control the cost. So if you can control the cost and keep the pricing low, your brand is going to live for centuries. Otherwise, it will live only for a decade or so. So in 1995, Thyrocare, a diagnostic laboratory, simple, straightforward laboratory, nothing else, no invention, no, I must a scientist, no patent, nothing. What everybody did, I did in a different way and it became a wonderful project. Of course, God was waiting until 1995. I came into business. There was no web server. There was no air cargo. There was no email. There was no barcode. Everything started because I came into the picture of business. I'm, that is positive way of thinking. Profits are everywhere. Pricing is just a philosophy. And price thyroid at $2. Mind you, it is 100 pounds in England. It's hundred dollars in US, it's hundred dinars in Dubai, sorry, Bahrain and Kuwait. This was my first slide which I made in those days when PowerPoint was not there. 15 grams, mind you, in the hundred kilogram body, I only have focused on a 15 grams. And I saw a thousand crore even in 1996. Once I ha happened to receive an invitation from Azim Premji for a one-to-one -one breakfast. While he was ordering for a breakfast, he told me, tell me in short about Thyrocare. I thought for a f three, four seconds and I used only two words. I told it is McDonald plus Walmart. McDonald because it is the focus. Walmart it is because of the value. So that is the way in which this business could be thought through and built. Late, but I, I think no Taikan meetings can ever happen without Rajinikan's punchlines. Later, one day upon the cat of the care, he'll another latest in summer. I was the latest in my league of uh, uh, players, and I had six sixes in a over. But lucky to be there. The time was wonderful, industry was very, very open. I did in my own style. And I had a courage to declare a rate which was ridiculed by entire people in Maharashtra felt. I am some Tamil Nadu chief minister's uh, Benami. <laughs> and when I came to Coimbatore, they felt I am Sarat Pawar's right hand. Mind you, <laughs> absolutely happy to know that I am equated with them. Concept-wise, it was very different. Mind you, it's a pathology laboratory, but I have a B2B business where all pathology laboratories, all my majority of my competitors also use my own brand. They send the business to me. I am a national dobi. 
I do the business for everyone in the back end. And the focus and the stamina got me where I am. That is about business. I have no competition. You all must be wondering, how do you say you have no competition? Let me tell you, I am doing numerical pathology. A mathematician, if he does pathology, it will be numerical pathology. Biochemistry, numbers, 17.6 milligrams, 15.3 nanograms. I deal with disorders, not diseases, disorders. Diseases come and go, disorders remain with an individual, that is a long-term business. Preventive care, only 1% of the population is sick in any given time, 99% is non-sick, so focus on preventive care, that is a very big market. My patients are at home, they are not in hospitals, and my patients are vertical, they are not horizontal, and I have 99% of the market without competition. That is how you need to aim very tiny very. So this is about uh, numerical mathematics. Uh, could uh, read numbers pretty early, and uh, this is these are all things which uh, thyroid came in 1995 and Android came only in 2010. <laughs> so these are my punch lines. Take less to get more. I make only $1 profit, I take $2 for thyroid, my reagent cost and floor cost all is $1, I make $1 profit. And I do in a night 200,000 investigations. Rendlacho investigations are done each night. Do not copy neighbor, resist temptation. Don't buy that Tipu Sultan sword. Is that clear? <laughs> Plan to lose. If you plan to lose, you will never lose. If you are scared of loss, you will always lose. Plan to lose. Avoid easy things. I think plenty of people adopt easy things and they fail. Jitao. In, this is a Hindi word. Jitega to har sakta hai. Jitaega to kabhi harega nahi hai. So make others successful. You will never fail. That's the floor. It's a, like a textile mill in Coimbatore. We have world's longest track. That is 158 meters. My laboratory floor is double the size of this hall. And we have a mm, machine to open and close vials also. 40,000 specimen a night, 200,000 investigations a night, every night, same night, before midnight, only in night. And I am not a fly-by-night operator. It's not a laboratory, it's a factory, 1,000 cities are there, 600 staff, 98% pressures, mean age is 24.25. That's another problem. All are unmarried. In my office, in my last 20 years, there have been 68 couples in, inbred. <laughs> this is the growth story. I don't think I have to tell you, in 200 square feet rented garage I started in 1996. Today I own buildings adjacent each of them 2 lakh square feet each. Other than that, I have got 15 acres of land in Mumbai to create a diagnostic mall. And I intend to make one of the unique diagnostic malls in Mumbai. This is Thyronomics. Bought reagents for $3 and rolled out services at $2. After 18 years, $2 was brought down to $1. Because one year, one, 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 one year back, my children one day in a dinner table asked me, Daddy, are you not filthily rich? Yes, I am. What are you going to do with money? I will give for charity. My daughter asked me, are you not an idiot to take it out from a patient and give it to charity? I thought through in the entire night. Next day morning, I reduced the rate by 50%. <laughs> this is the relationship with Siemens. We are at Bahrain, we are at Bangladesh. We will be at Boston, we will be at Atlanta. If McDonald's is in India, we will be there in the United States of America. <laughs> this is my numbers, this is my value of me, my brand, my business, my family, all put together. In 1995, it was only worth one crore. And every six years, I have added a zero. Don't look for 50th. I'm only 57. Warren Buffet is 87, and I, if I have another 30 years, you will know how many zeros would be added.
these are all scaling up challenges. Uh, I want all of you to understand uh, how languages create barrier, cultures create barrier. Oh, it's a big challenge. I like that photograph. It is a Korean army and all my boys jump like this and look at it, I don't jump there. I stand behind and give instructions. Life is music. Music is life. Rest is all wife. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was a great experience for me to come here and uh, stand and uh, Thank you. Thank you. You can ask a few questions. Uh, clapping will not help. <laughs> Couple of questions I would like to an uh, answer. Yeah, yeah. We can do that. Are there any? Yeah, I went to Bombay for a job. I was a mathematics man, physics chemistry subject. So I was, I was to, told to work as a laboratory technician in a hospital where I was forced to do thyroid testing. Ding, 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 every day. While doing so, I wanted to know what is the thyroid and then started doing thyroid study. Then I did my MSc in thyroid biochemistry, did a PhD in thyroid and run the world's largest thyroid testing laboratory. Mind you, if you are in mathematics, you can be everywhere. Please note, mathematics is the greatest uh, science. And if someone hates mathematics, restart your education again. <laughs> Thank you very much once again. Good luck. Thank you so much, sir. I think that was such a well-deserved standing ovation. You're a complete breath of fresh air for every entrepreneur. <laughs> who wants to go places, I think uh, you've given them their dream though, isn't it? I think now everybody's a little more like